Hello everyone, welcome to Exam Assure. Now that the GATE results are out, we move ahead with the COAP process. So how do we proceed with this? What is the procedure for filling the form, etc.? Let us take a look at that. So if you search for COAP, this uh, 2025 COAP is being organized by IISC Bangalore. So if you just type COAP in Google, you will, the first thing over here you will be able to see is COAP 2025. Once you click on that, it will direct you to the web page where you can see register or login. Now you cannot log in without registering. So first we need to finish our registration process. Once you click on this register over here, it will take you to the form filling process. Now over here, what do you need to do is put in your gate registration number, the gate paper code. So here we will be putting AR, your gate score. So keep that in mind, your gate score, gate rank, and gate marks. These are different things. So here we have to enter the score. So this is out of 1000. Your marks are going to be out of 100. Okay. Along with that, once your gate score is entered, you have to enter your date of birth. So here on clicking on the calendar, you will get a pop up like this where you can select your date of birth. Now, another important thing here. When you enter the registration number for gate, you have to enter it without your paper code. So if you look at your registration number, it is AR25 something, some numbers. So here you do not have to enter AR. You start from 25 and whatever the number is. Because if you type in AR, it is going to show you a pop-up like this, which says, please enter a valid registration number. Now, once I remove AR, if you look over here, once we remove AR and then proceed ahead after filling all the details, it says, yes, gate data verified. You click on OK, fill up uh, the rest of the form and then click on submit to register. Once we click on that, it Again, shows us a pop-up asking you, are you sure if you want to register for the form? So click on OK. Once that is done, it will take you to this page where it is showing all the details that you have filled up. Now here, your registration is not yet complete. So in order to complete the registration, now here you click on complete registration. Up till this stage, now your uh, you have just been assigned a COAP ID. However, to complete the registration, click on this blue tab which says complete registration. Once that is done and a user ID or a login ID and a password would be sent to your email address that you have given here while registration. So you can go to your email address if you take a look at this over here, your login ID, your password is sent to you via mail. And you need to click on the link that they have given over here. Once you click on this link, again, they will redirect you to the COAP portal. Where now what you have to do is click on login over here. Because we've already completed the registration once, so you don't need to go back to this part here just click on the login once you click on login here enter all the details so the user id the current password so this is the password that has been mailed to you so what you've received in mail you put that over here now they will ask you for a new password so basically you have to set your own password now so you put in whatever password you want to Again, it has to be one uppercase, one lowercase, one numeric and one special character. Once all of this is done, you click on change password. After that, again, your password change procedure is complete. 
Now we need to log in again into our account using the new password that we have set. Now here the mail ID password has no relevance because we have already changed our password. So again, you need to enter your user ID and the new password that you have just entered. Once you click on login over there, it will direct you to this page where it is asking you if you have any other valid gate scores. So if we see for 2025, the gate score of 23 and 24 would also be valid. So in case if you have gate score valid of two years, you can click on two or uh, if you have only the gate score that is valid of the last year, that is 2024, you can click on one. If you do not have any gate score valid, you can click on no as well. Now, if since we have one gate score valid, that is of 2024, we click on yes here. However, in case if you do not have a previous gate score, not an issue. This is not going to affect anything. So here you just have to click on no. Now, because we have one gate score with us available, we have chosen one. Now, what you need to do here is you need to enter your registration number of the year 2024. So whatever, I'm sure you must be having your gate scorecard in case if you, uh, if you have that valid for 2024, you can enter that registration number over here. Click on this blue tab. Once that you click on that, it is going to automatically fill up all your details over here. So you don't need to fill the rest of it. Only your registration number is needed. In some cases, you might find an error. Even though you might, even though you have a 2024 valid scorecard. However, it might show some error. Primarily that is occurring because the name that is given by you in your 2025 paper and the previous year paper, there is some slight difference. Because of that, it could show that, but however, it will get resolved. Now, once this all of this is done, you can enter the character shown in that image. Click on Submit. After clicking on Submit, again, it is going to just show you what all you have filled in terms of your registration number, your valid gate scores of whichever years they are. And with this, after doing all these process is only when your registration for the COAP portal is complete. So I hope uh, this is helpful for all of you. Those who have not yet registered, please do so at the earliest as the IIT admissions are going to start. And this COAP ID that is required for these admissions to IITs, where in their respective forms, the COAP ID is asked for. So please do fill your forms at the earliest. Thank you and wish you all all the best.